Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. And today we are learning about the cherub angelfish. These are a pygmy angel, so they will stay relatively small throughout their life. Prices on them, you'll normally spend about 40 bucks on them. Tank size, normally you need about a 55 gallon, but I've also seen them thrive really well in like a 30 gallon. So you could go a little bit smaller, but how many fish you have in there will definitely depend on it. Care level, he is super easy to take care of. He's a really hardy angelfish to get. Very easy to get to feed, and he tends to stay pretty tough against other people. Temper, they are semi-aggressive. They do tend to be the king or queen in the tank, so you definitely want to try and add him last if you can because he will kind of go after your new tank mates. Reef safe, definitely with caution. He is an angelfish. Pretty much with me, all angelfish are a 50-50 shot where if they're going to nip on all your corals or if they're going to nip on none of them, you hear stories about people where they tear up their entire reef and then you have other people that they do just fine in there. A lot of times they're really bad about nipping at your LPS corals, your clams, your zoas, stuff like that. It really can cause some havoc, but you never know. Sometimes they just do not mess with it. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. Max size, they only get up to 3 inches. So you, I mean, they stay really small for an angel. Unlike Koran angels who get like a foot long, they get huge. So these are definitely good for people that do not have like the 180 gallon tanks to keep those big fish. Colors on them, the purplish blue body with that really pretty yellow face. Diet, they are an omnivore, so make sure you're feeding them plenty of algae. A lot of times we feed sea veggies up at the shop. That keeps their health up, keeps them away from any parasites, ick, anything like that. It also keeps their colors really pretty. So definitely make sure you're feeding algae on a clip or if you have a bunch growing in your tank, he'll run around and eat that. And then you also want to feed them some meaty stuff like flakes or little pellets. And you can even feed them like frozen cubes like mysis and brine shrimp. Those are all really good things you need to feed them. Origin, they do come from the Caribbean, but we are slowly being able to tank breed them. So eventually you won't even be getting these guys from the wild anymore. Compatibility, just ask. Like I said, they are bred now, so obviously you could have a male and female together, but you can't tell which is which. And if you end up getting like two males, they end up fighting constantly. So it's very hard to tell. Normally we recommend just people just get one. Um, if you do want to house them with other angelfish, just make sure you have a big enough tank because a lot of times if you've got two angels and too small of a tank, they'll get really territorial over each other and start fighting. Make sure you have plenty of rocks and caves for them. They tend to stay near the live rock most of the time, poking their head out, swimming around the caves, kind of doing that. There aren't much of an open swimmer, so make sure you have plenty of rock in there, and that'll keep them really comfortable. And they also graze a lot on the rocks, looking for algae and anything to eat. So other than that, that's pretty much all you need to know. That is your chair of angelfish, a little pygmy angel, very easy to take care of. Just make sure you feed them some algae, keep them healthy. And then make sure if you're going to house them with another angel, make sure the tank is big enough. But other than that, that's pretty much all you need to know about this angel fish. He's pretty much a beginner fish for you. Hope you all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all later.